Jeffries, can I please have your autograph? A stamp? It's getting hot, sir. Go down this, bro. I'll be right back. We're going to do this. It's the first time a country girl got to have a lead role, and you know, usually we get supporting roles. This time I got the starring role. When I when put on the makeup, I become Juana. I don't uh, I, I don't find myself acting like I'm Juana. I've never played a man and a woman in the same movie. Back on action! Juana Mac. The hilarious new Warner Brothers Morgan Creek comedy doesn't hit theaters until June 21st. Are you ready? But today, we've got your exclusive look behind the scenes at how this comedy was made. Are you gonna sweat me up? Just the idea of a man becoming whole and complete. You like my breast this is by stepping inside the body of a woman. She's all that in a Hot Wheel track. That's what really intrigued me about the screenplay. That was like a, a great experience for a director and an actor. That whole arc of being able to change from uh, a very tough, macho character to someone who has a more you know, open and sensitive uh, demeanor. Settle. Action. What about when some men like to brag about the size of their manhood? Oh, when we know it ain't the size of the boat, baby, but the motion of the ocean. Can I get a hallelujah? Can't get a hallelujah? What you talking about, Juana? The size of the boat don't matter. I want the Titanic. You got that right? Having a great script is a good start, but you don't make a movie as funny as Joanna Mann without one main ingredient. Miguel. Miguel. Miguel Nunez. A star. You are who? I'm a star. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, hurry back with them groceries, star. <laughs> I had to make her a country girl because it's more interesting, you know, and I think that it was hard because I was wondering if I should just be Jamal playing a woman, or if I should be Jamal, who becomes a woman. So I just thought I'd just become myself. And now I'm here and I'm never leaving. A lot of people haven't fully experienced the wide range of talent that he has. I don't think you could ask for a better person to work with, a more talented person to work with. Let me ask you something. What do you want to ask me? Did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you fell from heaven. It's Paula Bird. Watch the wings. Hey! I'm just getting to work here today. I just got in. Now I'm ready for my transformation. He goes from this hardcore basketball player. Well, you may be the coach of this damn team, but I am the team. They're in the team in this league that wouldn't kill to have a player like me. They can have you. Yeah. Who has a street uh, urban edge to him. Oversized ego eclipsing his talent. Well, perhaps you haven't seen my game in a while, Pops. Maybe you need to trim some of the motherfucking bushes off your fucking head. You'll be able to see my motherfucking game. And he does a 360, puts on contact lenses, the dress, throws in that North Carolina accent, and he becomes a completely different person. To become Joanna Mad, Miguel A. Nunez Jr. had to sit in the makeup chair for two to three hours every day. Like a stovetop stuff Plus, she lusts for us Just the way I like him A classy freak That like to throw it on a player Get nasty with me You like sex I can tell by your body language Bounce Ready for my close-up, Mr. Devine When they told me that Miguel was gonna play Joanna I said, excellent choice Because Miguel totally will sacrifice himself He doesn't mind getting his legs waxed <laughs> <laughs> sitting in the makeup chair for two hours and having to put on the wigs and everything. His dedication and his sacrifice for this movie is just incredible. I'll say this to anyone. As far as I'm concerned, Miguel Nunez is as good as Martin Lawrence. He's certainly um, striving and moving towards the talent of an Eddie Murphy. He's going to be the next one. But 
But Miguel isn't the only star in the show. Joanna Man also features rap superstar Kimberly Lil Kim Jones. Hell yeah! <laughs> Singing sensation Genuine. Is ever cause like telling me you cool, you cool. Comedian Kim Wayans. <laughs> The beautiful and talented Vivica A. Fox. Go Banshees. <laughs> Comedian Kevin Pollock. I love basketball, although I am not very tall. And the one and only Tommy Davidson. <laughs> Who's ready to play? Banshees! Who's ready to win? Banshees! 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 Of course, you can't make a basketball blockbuster without authentic basketball players. So the producers of Joanna Mann went to the pros for help. Because it's a comedy, we have to go off the page a little bit um, as far as the, the realism, because there's certain things that you do comedically that you know just wouldn't happen on a court. Huh? Huh? How about this? Oh my God. They're professional basketball players, man. And here they are, they're doing this movie with us. They got all these action sequences where they have to work this stuff out. So to see Vivica and Miguel Nunez play ball with some WNBAs, I think that's real exciting. I don't think it's ever been seen on screen. Although it was his first acting role in a major motion picture, singer-songwriter Genuine fit right in with the rest of the cast. Jesse Vaughn helped produce some of my videos back when I first started. And he just remembered me, and I believe we had a conversation back then talking about movies and stuff like that, so he just remembered me. Being around Vivica and Tommy and Miguel, just, I was always nervous. Right, right, that's why I look like my mom's sister. Everything I do, I'm wondering if it's right. Vivica is like telling me, you cool, you cool, you know what I mean? So it's just like nervousness, but I'm getting over it. He's good eye candy. I was like real eager to do it. I had to learn what to do, like the reactions and stuff like that. Romeo? That's my name, baby. That's my name. Romeo? Hold on, baby, I'm almost finished. <laughs> Romeo! Who, who, who are you? In my bed. What are you doing in my house? Baby, hold up. When we come back, we'll take you behind the scenes to show you what happened when the cameras were off. <laughs> See, that's what happens when y'all ain't around all the time. Mm -hmm. This is a professional set. There's a lot of people around here doing a lot of things. There's a lot of pros around here. We're going to act just like we were acting if you weren't here. Finally, there's going to be a movie that involves women's basketball. And it's just a great cast, and it's really, really funny. Uh, Turn this way, honey. Jagged. See? Tommy, <laughs> it's crazy. Well, you know what I had to say to that? Whether I'm white <laughs> or whether I'm wrong, no cat's going to bar. This ebony star from singing my song. I want to be free. How free? I want to be free. How free? You cats got to learn. What? Or Cape Town will burn. See, that's what happens when y'all ain't around all the time. Constant performance. Puff Smokey Smoke. Drive like it's hot. Played by Tommy Jason. That's just uh, Romeo's boy. I see you looking at something. What's the deal? Uh, man, hot dogs and hamburgers, man. <laughs> he thinks he's the man. I'm telling you, brown sugar. Like hey. D'Angelo, brown sugar. Hey. That's what he was talking about right there. He done got the gold, the gold teeth, everything. Puff Smokey Smoke doesn't know that you want a man is a man. You know what? You are one tall glass of water, and I'm telling you straight up, I'm thirsty. He just thinks that you want to wants a man. He's in love with me. Oh my lord, girl, you did not just set me on a date with that Carolina River cricket. And he really likes you, girl. A guy who is just basically out of his mind, who doesn't think about a single thing he says, and anything that he says comes off the top of his head. You know, I have to admit, you are looking so hot tonight. Tommy just got into the part, jumped right in it, head first, then asked any question, then looked back, then apologized, and he laid it out. <laughs> I think we laughed the most after Tommy Davidson scenes. Cause he came in, he tore it up. The young lady wants a fillet to make naans. Yeah! <laughs> you know, little hunk of meat, little pink on the inside. 
Let me know. But I like being a comedian <laughs> and not a rapper. But yeah. what I learned was is that once again, I can actually transform myself into yet another character. I like it though. To make Joanna Man just right, the characters and story had to walk a fine line between reality and hilarity. Ow! Give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! Joanna Man is about Jamal Jeffries. He plays in the United Basketball League. I love this game, baby! Woo! Gets to the top of the world. He's the top guy in the NBA. He's making all the money in the world. But what is he truly living for? What is his true value? You know? And it's not him as an individual. It's what he has to contribute to a team, to the world. He ends up getting um, kicked out of the league. Jamal Jeffries is suspended indefinitely. I play Lauren Daniels. He's a, a super sports agent. Hey, Jamal! What's up, baby? What's up? What's up? What's up? Shoot me straight. I talked to the beat about an hour ago, and they've uh, dropped your contract. Shot me around to other teams. Nobody wants you. Not even the Clippers. Chapter 11? Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to the first 10 chapters? He loses his house. He loses his uh, cars, all his, his, his furs. I play Tina Parker, who is Miguel's girlfriend. She's only with him at the moment because, you know, he has money. Honey, all these tricks is dogs. But if you have to sleep in a doghouse, it might as well look like this one. True. <laughs> she's fabulous and she's very, very snooty and just very, you know, you have to take care of her in order for her to be around. He loses his basketball contract and I break the hell out. Jamal, I'm leaving. Okay. Why you out? Why don't you pick a brother up something to eat? He ain't got no more money. So what am I doing around? <laughs> what about all the good loving you was getting up in here? <laughs> The batteries too. The only way that he can make money after he loses his house, his friends, his girlfriend, his cars, his Hummer, this, that, and all the material things that come with it, he needs to make money. One day while out, he uh, sees this little girl playing basketball and she's dealing on the little boys and, you know, using them and he gets an idea. Lauren Daniels, please. Tell him it's Kobe Bryant looking for a new agent. Hey, there you are, Lauren. Jamal, I'm calling you to tell you about a phenomenal basketball player I just met. And get this, Lauren, it's a girl. So he goes and he dresses up as a woman. I'm here! And he starts playing in the W, UBA. So what's your name anyway, Hotshot? My apologies, Let's I don't even know pizza. myself. You wanna? Uh, Juana. Uh, Juana. Juana. Yes, Juana, man. He tricks his manager, he tricks his agent. And he reveals to his agent that he is Jamal. I am so excited. I mean, all in one day I'm starting a whole new life and I have my very own big time agent. And I don't want you to only think of me as just your client because I am also your ex-client. Biatch, got you, didn't I? Oh, oh shit. shit. Give me that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Give me the facts. Uh -huh. Give me the facts. Uh -huh. Nope. Give me the uh -huh. Not only does he make it, but because he's so good, he becomes a huge star. Let's see what you got. All right, coach. Now you coach it. And there's been a substitution and the new player out on the floor is number 22. Chris, that is to what a man. Here comes this new ball hog who's not a team player and she kind of helps him to learn what it's like to play as a team. Michelle, you need to step up. You're captain of this team and I'm expecting you to help me turn this woman around. Joanna starts to fall for the Vivica Fox character, so now he's playing using that to kind of get next to her. Whoa, look at you! Isn't this cute? I got it at Victoria's Secret. Mm-hmm. Come on. Ooh, where the secrets out. At the same time, she's in love with Romeo, who's played by Genuine. And Puff Smokey Smoke ends up having a thing for Joanna. Got to do it, with so many funny actors in one room, the hardest part of making Joanna Man was getting it all on film. Joanna is gonna just tear your little ticket bone out. You will life your hell. It's a life a minute. Coming up, Ashante and Fat Joe collaborate on the hit song What's Love from the movie. Plus, more behind the scenes footage and Joanna Man director Jesse Vaughn. Uh, I think you should wait just a beat, beat or two, and go.
The one thing that I think that Jesse will most definitely bring to Joanna Man is the beauty of film. Say again? That felt better. Yeah. Yeah, it just felt like, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Like he always makes sure we look good because videos, they make small movies, but they always really have to be appealing to the eye. So even if we're, even in our most natural states, it's really beautiful. You know, he doesn't say just stick with the words so you don't have to like feel like you got to say exactly what's in the script and you can't move. He just lets you go and I just go. Would you mind if I use the phone? Listen to me. My line's dead. Okay, why don't you just cut the crap? You're not getting in my house. You don't need to come into my house. You don't need to use the bathroom. You can't sleep on my couch. I don't need you to go inside checking for any burglars. And I don't have any aspirins for your fake out headache. So I tell you what, you're not getting inside me or my house. So you and little puppy can just get to stepping. Get to stepping. How about little kids? I ain't giving you no little kids. Jesse Vaughn created an atmosphere on that set that was totally conducive to creativity. And that's real important. He just allowed you to be, do what you want to do and do your thing. And I think that, to me, I couldn't, have, I could have never done what I did in this movie if it wasn't for Jesse. I want to do a checkup. I want to do a checkup. What's going on? Hey, what's up, man? What's up, Paul? Someone said to me recently, making a movie is like a war. And I thought, boy, that's not, <laughs> that's not a very encouraging thing to say to a first-time filmmaker. <laughs> And for me, on a personal level, when I look at making a movie and how challenging it is, it's been a great growing um, process for me just on a personal level because I've had to handle so much of the pressures of movie making that it's made me realize, you know, this is more than just making a movie, it's also about personal growth. Uh, all right, here we go, we'll play that. This song. Got to do, got to do with it. This was excellent. This was the best video that I've done yet because it was so fast. Alright, we're good now. We're good. And I got done so early. And I had a good time. And all the takes were good. <laughs> Slow down, baby. Let you know from the gate. I don't go down, lady. I want a chick with thick hips and licks her lips. She could be the office type, but like the strip. Videos go like maybe two, three days. And it's strenuous, but I think a movie is definitely more strenuous than a video. That's realer than real deal Hollyfield. Uh, Whatever that means. <laughs> the video, you know, you get your breaks and everything, but it's short. But movies you have like months that you work on <laughs> versus three days, two days. Very nice. Yeah. It's so much different because, you know, priorities are different on a video. And uh, it's, it's more relaxed. That's what I like about it. It's a more relaxed atmosphere. You don't have to worry so much about character and where you are in it. And, you know, character wise, you just go for it. When Ashanti got together and they put together a really, 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 really fat song for the movie Juana Man. The video is called What's Love and it's basically incorporating the movie Juana Man. Yo, this dude is crazy. For real. The song is basically talking about, you know, what love is about and having fun and doing your thing and your dance on and all that. The video, it, it, it's upbeat, it's, it's, uh, it's really fast and quick, it takes place in the basketball. The whole scene is about basketball, girls against the guys, and it's just...
Get out! Alright, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> oh, Ruby. Oh, Ruby, please. Mm -mm. You got to get on the floor, boy. Oh, shit. So sorry. Go ahead, on that floor. I'm so sorry. Me and Miguel have actually known each other for about 15 years. I remember I met Miguel when I first came to California. We all uh, used to hang out during the end of the magic era at the forum, and he was as hyper then as what he is now. Come on, Lauren, just fill them for me. Why? I What's the difference? I, I don't want to. Oh, man, those are good. Uh huh. That looks good on you, baby. Let me see. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Yes. The audience is going to walk away from this movie saying Tommy Davidson is probably one of the biggest talents to hit the humankind since probably the young King Tutankhamun. <laughs> What's up, baby? Yeah, you're like an angel in this light. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, give it to me. Uh, give it to me. Now go ahead, do that walk I told you. Oh, shit.